Aerodrome Finance, Aero, one of the newly listed cryptos on Coinbase. It is something that I reviewed about a month ago, maybe a little less than that, when it was at a lot lower price than it is now. And I've had a lot of people from the Freeman and Finance community wanting an update on it while the market is bleeding. And I'm going to tell you how healthy is Aero, in my opinion, how healthy is Base, what both of those are if you're not completely familiar with them yet and more but first i want to welcome you all back to freeman finance and crypto where if it makes money it makes sense we've had a huge growing community over the last 28 days if you are not one of them please pause the video subscribe hit the bell notification and welcome to the freeman and finance family i am grateful for every single one of you so aerodrome finance is going to be the leading or is the leading decentralized exchange on base and i'm going to get into what is base in just a second but when we look at this as a decentralized exchange they have 319 million tvl or total value locked this is what provides liquidity on a decentralized exchange, what allows your transactions to go through quick, what gives you assurance as a user that there will be liquidity there if you went to sell or make a trade. Their annualized trading volume at this point is $1.08 billion, and I expect that to grow at an enormous pace going over the um the next year or two so here it says thirty two thousand active users i want to show y'all how much this has grown and why i am still bullish on it but what is base okay base is coinbase's layer two built on ethereum it's gonna uh it has of course lower fees being a layer two and aerodrome is the leading decentralized exchange on base and i truly truly think base is going to be a huge layer two and do great anything backed by coinbase always does good this is not uh, financial advice this is my personal opinion but i do personally think it will do amazing and we are just at the very beginning of it so aerodrome on the other hand is kind of a branch off of Velodrome. Velodrome is the leading DEX on Optimism, which is also a layer two on Ethereum. But Aerodrome is outpacing in price Velodrome. And let's get into why that is. But first, let's look at the total market why is everyone so worried well it, it is because it's a sea of red everything is down 20 percent this week um you know it has been bleeding but i want to let all of you know that this is completely healthy okay like warren buffett said be greedy when others are fearful and be fearful when others are greedy and the fear and greed index was in the high 90s okay it is now reset an hour ago to 74 to just greed if we were to consolidate around the 62 to 64,000 BTC price it would lower that even more and if you go trend this back on other times BTC broke its all-time high we've seen a very similar retracement some short-term consolidation like up to a month and then it was blast off from there but let's get into exactly how much activity base has had and why I am still extremely bullish on it so if we look this is the daily active lo uh, losers <laughs> users okay no losers we're crypto degens right but uh so Tron number one Solana you're talking about things that are in the top 20 total market cap Solana's you know top four but look at this base is number six with 855,000 daily users. Well, what does that mean? That is a 800% increase in the last seven days. And this data is actually a few days old. So it is even more than that now. So that means that base is growing extremely fast as a layer two, and so is Aerodrome Finance, its leading decentralized exchange. So let's get into the price of Aerodrome this week. While everything else, if I just showed you, let's go back to this. Everything, look at these. 
14% down, 22% down, 22, 17% down, 20% down. If we look at Aerodrome Finance, it is only down, what is this? Almost nothing, like 2% in the last seven days. Well, why is it only down 2% in seven days? If you look at the last month, it has went up 700%. This is not a rug pull. If it was a rug pull, that would be down 200% in the last seven days. But it's not. It's holding stronger than almost any other token out there. We're currently at 71 cents, and that's about what we started at, 72 cents. And if you look at this, that is about the average. I think Aerodrome Finance Arrow is in a very, very strong place right now. Now, could it go down more? Sure. But we always have to think about if we have conviction in a project. And I do have conviction in Aerodrome. So if we look at it, the we look kind of similar to how we did before. You hit a high up here, you came down, you came back up, you came, you consolidated a little bit, and this is not a huge drop when you compare it to the rest of the market. So I've had a lot of people in the community asking me my personal opinion on it, and I am still extremely, extremely bullish on Aerodrome and base as a layer two. But like I said, we are resetting the fear and greed index. If I can open it up, the fear and greed index is down to 74. That is very good for the market. And I personally am expecting a little more consolidation and then a takeoff from there heading into the bull run throughout the rest of 2024 and early 2025. But as always, I want to thank you all for joining Freeman Finance and Crypto, where if it makes money, it makes sense. I am grateful for every single one of you in the Freeman and Finance family. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe, hit the bell notification. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think about Aerodrome? Are you invested in it? Or what about other things on base? Are you invested in those? And if so, what did you get in at? What price did you get in at? I would be curious to know. And if you are still holding, because I think there is a lot of potential. Thank you all. Have a great day.